first off, you know, give, give Eastern some credit. They came in and did what they had to do to give themselves a chance. Uh, I don't know if there's any way you can really prepare for that kind of style consistently. And they came in and did what they do best. They spread you out. They control the tempo of the game. And if they shoot it pretty well, they got a better better chance to win the game. Then they come down and at the other end do something you just don't see a lot. And we, it wasn't a surprise to us, even though we didn't have no film on them. We knew enough tendencies and things that they do in the past. They play a 1-3-1. One, one. And that 1-3-1 one, one is just different. It's just different. So we didn't get many runouts because they don't give you a chance. They get back and take away all layups. And... They control that ball offensively and make you work and make you work. And you make a mistake on a dribble penetration off a shooter somewhere, they make you pay. But, you know, we found a way to win it. Uh, I think we found a way to win it playing differently. Uh, we didn't play as well as we played. But, again, that style has a whole lot to do with it. Uh, we stepped up and made some plays when we had to. I thought early we had a chance to kind of separate the game. Early in that game, I think we was up 12, missed about three wide open threes in a row. We really get some separation. And I think because the game came easy to us early, kind of sped us up a little bit. And and then they made some shots and got back in it. In it. But they, that was behind us. You ready for the next one? Uh, yes, sir. D uh, kind of took over there, I guess, the last minute, kind of showed that senior leadership you've been looking for. Well, I think for the last minute, he jumped up there in that stretch when it came a five or six point game, knocked down a big three, but played a lot of minutes tonight. And um, again, they spread you out. And, Paul screen you, butt screen you there, and just keep screening. It's pretty difficult. We didn't defend that very well, and you know probably could have went zone earlier and done some things against the zone, but didn't want to do that. Didn't want to keep guarding. And, um, those again, those guys are hard to guard. At, at 24, that backup guy can really shoot the three pointers. You know he didn't make them tonight, but he can really shoot the basketball. Rock Nandi for you. They hit back to back threes. He nails a three. Then they come back again. He gets another jumper for you. Separated up, got nine of twelve. That little run, you know, yeah, yeah, he did. But I mean, it's just a learning experience. And again, that team, from a learning standpoint, I can just tell you two things that they do. You don't see much more more difficult things to guard. Now, I mean, you see some teams who have better players on the inside. It's harder to guard. But from a style standpoint, offensively and defensively. Playing a one-three-one, you just don't see it a lot. You work against it, and that's what gives them a chance. You know, he used to be at Richmond with Beeline, and that's what they run. And he went to West Virginia, same thing, same style. They, they may not have the best athletes, but you put them in a the system, they're pretty good. But how comfortable is a guy like Hood already? You know, just first game in, and he's already taking these big shots. Well, I think he's, you know, um, I think he played pretty well. Twelve points, nine rebounds. Four assists, no turnovers. That's pretty good stats for a freshman. I'll take that if he's, you know, a junior even. So those are good stats. I mean, Rodney, Rodney's beyond his years in his, his middle part of the game. Uh, I don't think the game speeds him up a lot. He'll just have to learn the physicalness of it, uh, the toughness. That again, only time is going to take care of that for him. Can you, you talk about Deville and, and Sean? In? Well, Deville, I can. You know, we got Deville back at game time. He checked out of the hospital today about. 3.30 or 4 o'clock and basically came up and um, I think he was dressing my last trip into the locker room 10 minutes to go for the game. So I uh, liked him, maybe got him into the game even. We could have, wasn't planning on it. We was hoping to get a little separation if we could, get him in, get him a few minutes. It was probably best we did because uh, he hadn't done anything for a week basically. But hopefully, hopefully he's back and able to go. Sean still out with that hip thing. Uh, he had some I think he had an update today. He went and got shots or something for his hit today. So it's just kind of wait and see. What was the prognosis? What did the docs figure Don't know out? yet. Don't know. Had, had had the MRIs yet. So we're just kind of seeing some some dosage and dose bags, stuff like that's going to heal. So we just don't know. Ricky, so you've talked about their system, but they opened up in man. They waited 27 minutes to go one through one on you. Did, did you kind of go, wait a minute, what is this? I, I, I didn't. See this. Well, they opened up, man. We jumped out early on. Yeah. They jumped out early. You know, most teams do that. When they want to play zone, when they want to play zone, a lot of teams open one way and go the other way. Mm -hmm. 
You know, sometimes if I want to play zone line, I may play man first couple possessions. I didn't surprise us that they would do that, but um, they went to, went to zone pretty quick now. Got in that zone, basically stayed in it. They would mix it every once in a while, but not much, not much. Uh, you know, Sydney on the bench the last 440, just trying to keep a, a certain kind of group in there. Down yeah, the we had the flow of the game. I thought, you know, just we were flowing okay. And, uh, you know, went down. We went small late in the game. The last minute and a half, so we had, I mean, had Arnett at the five. We went small where we could switch ball screens. And that ball screen didn't hurt us. I think D got hurt. D got uh, put back because he didn't block that cat out. He switched on. But um, those things we hadn't done much yet, but we, we can do, need to. Dave, question, man. You didn't say anything yet. Ron Ryan, this, that's the aggressive guy you wanted to see all last year. I mean, he didn't shy away both ends of the floor, just taking it inside. And yeah, going. probably didn't, didn't didn't make some easy cribs as he normally does. Missed a bunch of shots early down that rim, missed some late. Um, you look at his, his stats, um, I mean, he's the guy, you know, he's led us in scoring a bunch you now. And he's two for nine tonight. He's, he's really been efficient for us. But still, he has six rebounds. Six rebounds. And, you know, he does a lot of things, has to guard and bring it, so no, he's he's fine. How different will Akron be? Uh, Akron's just a different kind of team now. Remember, Akron's the NCAA team coming in here. You know, Akron's, Akron's a real, real good team. Got a big guy, and I ain't watched tape on him yet. Get on it here, first thing. Uh, but they got a big guy that, coming out, what's his name? The big old boy. He was a guy out of high school that talked about being a one-and-done guy, but he's back now. I think he's a junior now. Uh, but, again, they were NCAA team last year, and uh, they'll pick Ralph top at league again. And uh, They will be a – well, they'll be really good. Trust me, really good. I have a very good league. People are going to talk about D's 23, but their number three goes four for 17, the left two for 11. His defense tonight was, was – uh, Yeah, I mean, so I know that cat made, made some shots and got that lane – you know, I'd be interested to see where his four baskets, he got two threes. I think his two layups came probably late in that last six-minute stretch. He got two layups right there. Besides that, you know, like you say, he's four for 17. Yeah. Took a bunch of shots and uh, had D and Brian on him, those two cats, and D fought him most of the night. Yep. Again, that's not a you – can't, you can't pressure them out of that style. You just can't do it. I mean, and you fall asleep in help side, somebody going to back cut you. Um, it's just a very different kind of style to have to go again. So it was a great experience for us. Uh, some things that we can learn from if we see it again. And again, that's that's one of those styles, again, that you hope as coaches don't want to see because it's different. And the best way to guard that style is zone. I can tell you that. I mean, if that's what you really want to go guard, that's what you do. You go zone that style. But he didn't want to do that. Excuse me, that play where last year you might not have seen that there was a turnover. He chased the ball down and prevented a layup. He just got in the end. Just got to keep him, keep him doing it. They do it more and get in that post and continue to work. Just not get there, get in that post and work. Demand that basketball, man. Against the man zone, you know, keep getting, have an understanding who I'm sealing in and out as we change things and which guy is it. You, you, you got to build it. Continue to just get better at those things. But, you know, like I keep saying, he's better in some areas he's better in, better than. Just got to keep getting better.